Hi guys and welcome to my channel Sri Lankan Histories. My name is Tuan M. Zamir Karim and in this video I'll be talking about the Kok Memorial Clock Tower in Colombo and also about the history of Sri Lanka's very first medical school. So for more videos like this that are related to Sri Lankan history, please make sure to subscribe to my channel Sri Lankan Histories and do not forget to hit the bell icon. So why wait? Let's begin with the video. So the Koch Memorial Clock Tower is located right next to the Faculty of Medicine University of Colombo opposite to the blood bank of National Hospital of Sri Lanka. So this three-story tall building stands on Kinsip Road, not far from the canteen of the Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo. So this building was erected by public subscription and civil medical officers in the year 1881. So it was erected in memory of a famous Salonese physician, surgeon, lecturer, and former principal of the Colombo Medical School, Edwin Lawson Koch, who passed away on the 30th of December 1877. It is in his memory that this building was established in the year 1881. So talking about Edwin Lawson Koch, Edwin was born on the 29th of November 1837 in Jaffna to John Gottfried Koch, who was a proctor in Ceylon, and his mother, Anjanita Dorothea Algens, in a very famous Dutch burger family. Though they were identified as Dutch burgers, the family was originally of German heritage. So the progenitor of the Koch clan in Ceylon, Gottfried Koch, hailed from Aldrup in Brandenburg, Prussian Empire, which is present-day Germany, not Russia, Prussia, so he hailed from the Prussian Empire and came to Ceylon in the 18th century and Edwin Lawson Koch was his lineal descendant. So Edwin since childhood wanted to pursue a career as a doctor. But unfortunately back then Ceylon did not have a medical school of its own. So the students who wanted to pursue higher studies in medicine had to go abroad, mostly to India if not to England. So Governor Mackenzie in 1839 started sending Ceylonese students to Bengal Medical College which is the oldest medical school in South Asia as well as in the whole of Asia to teach Western medicine in English. So Edwin was sent to Bengal Medical College and he pursued his higher studies in medicine there and following the completion of his studies he returned to Ceylon. He also went on to earn a doctorate from the University of Aberdeen. So Edwin joined the Ceylon Medical Services in the year 1862 and in the year 1870, Governor Sir Hercules Robinson established the Colombo Medical School. So the Colombo Medical School was established in the year 1870. There were only three lecturers and 25 students. And among those three lecturers was Edwin Lawson Cox. So he was appointed as one of the earliest lecturers. And the first principal of Colombo Medical School was Dr. James Lewis. So Dr. James Lewis served as the very first principal of Colombo Medical School from the year 1870 up until 1875. And upon the retirement of Dr. Lewis, it was Edwin Lawson Koch, a young lecturer who was an acclaimed physician and a prolific surgeon, was appointed as the second principal of Colombo Medical School in the year 1875. And he went on to be one of the most loved professors and he was also one of the finest doctors in the island back then. And in the year 1877 December, he performed an autopsy operation. So while performing the autopsy operation, he developed a wound and this wound led to him developing sepsis. So as a result of the sepsis he developed, he died 
on the 30th of December 1877. He was just 40 years of age at the time of his demise. The students as well as the staff of the Colombo Medical School were deeply saddened by the death of Dr. Koch who died at the tender age of 40. So Dr. Wanda Stratton, who was the successor to Dr. Koch, who became the next principal of Colombo Medical School, decided to erect a clock tower in memory of Dr. Edwin Lawson Koch, who rendered a man service to the Colombo Medical School. So this proposal was submitted to the British government and by public subscription, the school managed to collect 3,000 rupees so with 3,000 rupees, they built the three-story tall clock tower, but they couldn't afford to purchase the clock, which back then costed around 5,000 rupees. So it was the British governor at the time, Sir James Longden, who was the governor of Ceylon at the time, the 15th governor of the island. So he came forth and he provided 5,000 rupees to purchase the clock and the building was completed in the year 1881. As a matter of fact, Sir James Longdon's son, Cyril Chapman Longdon, served as the sixth Inspector General of Police of Sri Lanka. It should be noted that throughout the video that I have been pronouncing the surname K-O-C-H as Koch. But as a matter of fact, some of my relatives who are living in Germany have kept me informed that the surname is to be pronounced as Koch. That's the original way of pronouncing it, but unfortunately, I'm not good at pronouncing it the way the Germans do. But long since, this surname has been pronounced in Sri Lanka as Koch. For example, many of you might have heard of the actor and singer Alston Koch. He identifies himself as Alston Koch. So Koch has been the way the surname has been pronounced for a very long period of time. But abroad in the US as well as in parts of Europe, it's pronounced either as Ko, if not as Kosh. So it depends on the place where you come from. But in Sri Lanka, the surname has been pronounced as Kok for a very long period of time. So that's the reason I chose to pronounce it as Kok, because that's the Sri Lankan way of pronouncing it. So for more videos like this that are related to Sri Lankan histories, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, Sri Lankan Histories. And do not forget to hit the bell icon. And if you do have your queries, please post them. So until next time, it is me, Tuan M. Zamir Karim, signing out.